hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today i am coming with you all with a few of my latest black designer pick-me-ups if you're new to my channel welcome my name is carla and on this channel i share videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle if you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below okay so like I mentioned, I'm just going to share with you guys a couple of my lato latest pick-me-ups. They are from black designers or like black collabs. In a sense, I am going to share with you all um, are these shoes. Maybe I shouldn't say black designers. This is like a black owned boutique. So black designers and um, black owned businesses, boutiques, things like that. So these shoes i recently got these it's from this boutique on instagram called 12 a.m and if i'm not mistaken they had a collab with nicole Linnell like a few years back it was those cute mules with the big bow in the front they were like metallic there was a metallic pink um was it like silver yeah if i'm not mistaken this was the brand so like i said it is by 12 it's from the boutique 12 a.m. Um, and I just love these. I love how casual and edgy they are. I love the heel. Do you guys see those heels? I love the color on Instagram. Remember to follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on there at Carla.Simon19. On Instagram, I posted these and I asked you all if I should get them in this beautiful tan brown color or if I should get it in the black and most of you chose the black however I just felt like black was too basic and I could just do a lot more with this color like I pictured these with cargo pants and like I don't know like a cute um peplum dress but to just bring it down a little and to make it a little more edgy with these heels um if you guys can picture that then you know exactly what I'm saying these shoes do have like um it's a vel velcro closure and look at the bottom of them they're like um boots in a sense they have like a boot bottom I did get these in a size nine I'm usually like a size eight and a half or a nine they do come in half sizes but I chose the nine just because of the thong, the thong little piece right here usually with shoes like this it does hurt if you go with your regular size and the nine was good and if I could be honest I probably should have got a nine and a half just because my foot still kind of sits on here a little bit it's uncomfortable but not too uncomfortable if that makes sense like if I squeeze on the little plastic piece here a little bit then it's perfectly fine but I still feel like I could have gone up to a size nine and a half but yeah these are my latest pick-me-ups I will have them linked down below and they are from 12 a.m. the next piece I'm gonna share with you all is more of like a collab so these are a collab these boots are a collab with just fab and aisha curry um if you don't know who she is she is steph curry's wife if you don't know who steph curry is he's a basketball player um but yeah these boots are just stunning and guys sometimes i purchase for like other seasons if i can find something in the moment like i know some may see this and be like but carla summer is definitely around the corner why are you purchasing boots but again like i could wear this in the spring i could wear this on those colder days in the summer i could wear it in the fall i could wear it in the winter so that's why i decided to pick them up it's like this beautiful cream color i'm not sure if it's gonna pick up i gotta like there it's like a cream color i love how it's more of like that tan heel and bottom and then what really sold me on these boots was this lace detail right here on the top i just felt like the opposite of the 12 a.m heels that i showed you i felt like i could wear something like a little more edgy like maybe like a leather jacket um with like the metal um the rock studs on it 
or like I don't know something more edgier I could wear these boots and they would look more like cute edgy chic edgy girly edgy um in a sense but that's what I was thinking with these like if I wore them with either a floral dress this would look cute some shorts and like a tank top with this would look very cute so yeah I just wanted to grab these um one because of course it's Aisha Curry I, I really 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 like her um two she's black and three because I just needed some cream boots so yes that's the second item that I picked up next <sighs> guys you guys have probably seen all right so either you've seen my luxury wish list black designer luxury wish list or you've seen I recently shared this in like one of my knit favorites um for the spring summer but I wanted to include it in this video because it is by Christopher John Rogers like I said I've been wanting this I put it on my luxury wish list and I was on the hunt for it on the hunt I got it at Netta Porter I got it in a size small it does say collection seven I'm not sure how many collections there are I love the color blocking you see you get the beautiful um, cobalt blue with the red the bottom you get that checkered detail and then in the back you get like this yellow yellow and this more neon yellow I just love love the vibe my shirt is like going sideways I love the vibe of this shirt I love like this is stretchy um and I kind of figured because that's how knit usually is that's actually why I went with a size small I definitely if it wasn't so stretchy if it wasn't knit I probably could do like a medium but I went with the size small because I knew that knit stretches so much but I didn't want it to stretch too much that's why I didn't go with an extra small um and I could have to be honest because it's a little big like it's a little big little bit big but I will definitely make it work I love like it feels so good and I I have other pieces like this um but it's not like this if that makes sense like you can get the colors but the quality like this is not see-through at all like it's not see-through sometimes you get knit pieces you put them on they stretch a little and they're pretty much see-through this is not and yeah I just really really like this a brand that I'm really into I love Christopher John Rogers's um pieces they're pricey I will say um it is a luxury brand um so yeah it's not like an affordable piece like the boots I'm sorry I didn't share the price of the boots the boots were I'm a just fab member so I think I paid like 60 50 something dollars for it no more than 60 dollars and then these shoes um I believe they were 60 dollars and then I had to pay for shipping um but either or both of them were under 200 dollars but this top I think was like 500 dollars if I'm not mistaken but like I said it's not affordable just letting you know now I know I share a lot of affordable pieces and I love sharing affordable pieces because I want to show others that um you can look nice you can dress up you can get good items good pieces at a decent price but I don't want it I don't want you all to think that I don't purchase like luxury items because I do um I do and I will let you guys know so this is a Christopher John Rogers top the next piece um so I have not received this item yet it is this petite garage handbag um, like I said I've ordered it but I have not received it um, it's this beautiful orange and pink color and I hope that I receive it I really do I got this I was influenced I was influenced by G Jeronica Mycia I think I said it right I hope I said it right um but yeah I was watching her video and she showed this bag and the colors how beautiful it looked I was like okay I need 
to get this bag. I was not looking to purchase anything, but those colors were stunning. I hope I get it because literally shortly after I realized it was sold out. So, and I, it's happened to me numerous times. You order something, multiple people have probably ordered it and then boom, it's gone. But fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I get my bag. Um, let me tell you all a little bit about Petite Courage. So Courage, which is the ability to do something that frightens one. I just love everything like it stands for, like the brand. Um, it's a Haitian Creole meaning little courage. So like I said, Courage. I gave you the meaning um, the entire thing just means a little courage um, petite courage is the creation of fashion stylist Nazvin John Baptiste born in London to Haitian immigrants John Baptiste has over a decades worth of experience as an international fashion stylist before creating petite courage an innate desire to create something meaningful led John Baptiste to develop a luxury bag line <laughs> full of unique personality both lively and chic qualities uncommon within conventional brands. So, and there, it, there's a lot, a lot about her. Like it said all about the brand. It's now based in Brooklyn, but handmade in Haiti. Um, Petite Courage makes fun standalone pieces of wearable art that celebrates a love of knitwear, sculpture, and identity. Like I just had to share that. I know I didn't share as much with or definitely not as much with any of the other items that I picked up but with this I really wanted to because when I read it I was like I have to like I was gonna get the bag regardless but I wanted to look up uh, more about the brand because I knew in advance that it was a black designer so yeah like I said I hope I hope hope that I get that piece in fingers crossed if you have any questions ask me in the comment section down below I will link I will have these items linked in the description box down below remember to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Carla that's Simon 19 remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well see you in the next video